The AI space is heating up in 2023. Google has been secretly developing an advanced AI system called Project Gemini that could potentially dethrone ChatGPT as the dominant player in artificial intelligence. In this video, we'll explore some exciting updates on Gemini and how it might diminish ChatGPT's rule in the rapidly evolving world of AI. ChatGPT burst onto the scene in November 2022 and quickly became a viral sensation. The AI chatbot can generate surprisingly human-like text on virtually any topic in response to plain English prompts. Within just a few weeks of its release, ChatGPT had racked up over 100 million users, faster growth than any app in history. This meteoric rise sent shockwaves through Google and prompted urgent internal discussions. According to inside sources, Google declared a code red in response to ChatGPT's explosive growth. There were very real concerns about how this new AI chatbot could impact Google's core search business. After all, why go to Google when you can just ask ChatGPT? This code red sparked Google's accelerated push into generative AI. The technology giant realized it needed to ramp up investment and compete directly with ChatGPT and its maker OpenAI. Google had already been conducting AI research for years, but ChatGPT's overnight success lit a fire under those efforts. Then came Gemini, which is a multimodal generative AI system capable of generating text and images. This combines strengths from Google's top AI research teams, Google Research Brain and DeepMind. Having multimodal AI that can handle text, images, audio, and video gives Gemini a major edge over ChatGPT, which is currently limited to text generation only. Gemini aims to generate contextual images and even analyze charts or control software via voice commands. This fusion of modalities in one AI system opens up many more possibilities. For example, asking Gemini a question could produce both a text answer and a relevant image, this multimodal approach mirrors how humans perceive and interact with the world through multiple senses. One huge advantage Gemini has over ChatGPT is access to Google's massive stores of proprietary data from all its products and services. This includes Google Search's web index with hundreds of billions of web pages, Google Maps data on places and locations, YouTube's enormous corpus of video transcripts, Google Books library of book scans, and even Google Assistant interactions. All this real-world data from over 20 years could allow Gemini to train more sophisticated AI models with more nuanced real-world understanding. Access to high-quality training data is absolutely key for developing capable AI. In contrast, ChatGPT was trained solely on internet text and books digitized before 2021. So, Gemini may have an unprecedented breadth of data to learn from. Gemini incorporates advanced AI techniques like reinforcement learning that builds upon recent innovations from DeepMind. Specifically, reinforcement learning allowed DeepMind's AlphaGo system to master complex games like Go and chess by continuously playing against itself to improve. Gemini aims to apply similar self-play reinforcement learning to language understanding. This will allow the system to get feedback, learn from experience, and enhance its capabilities over time. Rather than relying solely on static training data, reinforcement learning allows AI to dynamically improve through practice. Combining reinforcement learning with access to Google's data could allow Gemini to master the language in ways that no AI system has achieved before. This presents a major step beyond ChatGPT's current model limitations. The race between these two tech giants is certainly heating up. It will be fascinating to see how ChatGPT evolves to stay competitive as Google prepares to unleash Gemini. Stay tuned for more updates on this simmering AI rivalry. Additionally, Gemini has an all-star roster of AI experts leading its development. Most notably, Google co-founder Sergey Brin himself is personally involved in overseeing Gemini and advising the direction of the project. Brin has taken a hands-on role in evaluating different iterations of the Gemini models. He's also guiding the fundamental strategy and vision for Gemini within Google's product ecosystem. 
Having the involvement of such a key figure in Google's history shows how seriously the company is taking this project. Bryn is joined by other AI luminaries like DeepMind CEO Demis Hassabis and Google VP of Engineering Scott Huffman. Key technical leads include Google Senior Fellow Jeff Dean, a pioneer in AI systems, along with DeepMind senior researchers like Oriol Vinyals and Tom Hennigan. This dream team of AI experts give Google incredible brain power to push boundaries and stay ahead of competitors like OpenAI. Moving on, one limitation of today's AI chatbots like ChatGPT is their inability to maintain consistent, logical conversations. Their knowledge is fixed at the point of training, but Gemini is designed to tackle this through advanced natural language processing. The goal is for Gemini to understand the full context, exhibit common sense, and maintain logical consistency across long exchanges. This could make conversational interactions much more useful by mimicking human-level comprehension skills. For example, Gemini could adjust its responses based on the user's tone and previous chat history. Its knowledge could also stay updated in real time rather than being static like ChatGPT. Enabling true back-and-forth conversation is an exciting frontier for AI. Gemini represents a major effort to push the boundaries here. Based on the latest insights from Google, they're aiming to unveil access to Gemini for developers as soon as later this year. The plan is to open up Gemini's APIs and tools to let developers integrate its capabilities into their own products and apps. This developer launch could happen before the end of 2023. However, regular users likely won't get access to Gemini until key integrations are ready. But we may see Gemini subtly incorporated into Google products like Search and Maps soon. The race is on to bring this transformational AI to market. Releasing Gemini broadly requires rigorous testing to address potential risks up front. But Google knows it needs to act fast in such a competitive landscape. ChatGPT aims to be a jack-of-all-trades AI assistant capable of generating content on any topic with a decent level of coherence. However, its breadth comes at the cost of depth. Gemini is taking a different approach. It is specializing narrowly on mastery of language understanding rather than a wide domain coverage. This expertise could make it outperform ChatGPT significantly in linguistic tasks despite ChatGPT's broad capabilities. We see this across other AI applications too. Systems built for niche focus areas often outdo generalist AI. Think of how AlphaGo surpassed all human players by specializing in Go skills. With Gemini, Google is betting that high language aptitude will be a game changer, even if its knowledge is less encyclopedic than ChatGPT overall. But only time will tell how this strategic choice pans out. Picking up where we left off, let's explore the last couple of exciting updates on Google's Project Gemini and its potential impact on the AI landscape. As AI systems like Gemini become more advanced and take on expanded roles, it also raises new concerns around ethics, bias, and responsible use. While the capabilities of systems like Gemini are impressive, they don't inherently have common sense or human values. Without proper safeguards, unintended biases could emerge in their behaviors. For example, biases baked into training data could lead to unfair or unethical results. Google will need to thoroughly test Gemini to proactively address any problematic biases or blind spots. Ongoing monitoring and algorithms that ensure ethical behavior will be crucial as well. There are also worries about how generative AI could be misused to spread misinformation or synthesized media. Google will have to weigh open access with controls to prevent abuse. Addressing these challenges is pivotal to earning public trust and realizing the full potential of transformative AI. But the company can't afford to move too slowly, with competitors like OpenAI nipping at its heels. The threat of Google's Gemini will certainly put pressure on OpenAI to further enhance ChatGPT's capabilities in order to stay competitive. Once Gemini becomes available, OpenAI will likely need to upgrade ChatGPT with additional features like multimodal inputs beyond just text, more robust conversational abilities, access to real-time internet data, improved context and logic across dialogues, and custom modifications based on user feedback. 
This constant one-upmanship between Google and OpenAI will ultimately benefit consumers. The fierce competition should accelerate the progress of AI, pushing for more powerful, flexible and safe generative models. The public unveilings of systems like DAL-E2, ChatGPT and now Gemini also democratize access to cutting-edge AI. What were once exclusively lab research projects are now poised to empower everyday users. It's an exciting time in the evolution of artificial intelligence. The possibilities feel endless as tech giants like Google and OpenAI jockey for pole position in this transformative race.